Hello, I am Evgeny Duder from town Lobna in Russia. I want to teach you how to add software instruments in digital audio workstation called Reaper, turn on metronome, record your performance and edit it. Comparatively with other DAWs, Reaper hasn't a lot of software instruments. There are three of them, they are simple and useful. But in most cases you need to use third-party VSTs and you need to install them. Try to choose one VST folder for all your plugins and instruments. Then take a look at preferences in Reaper and make sure that the same folder marked as a VST folder. This folder will contain DLL files, which are often software instruments themselves. Reaper doesn't care what kind of track you want to create, audio instrument, group or aux or MIDI. When you right-click on track field, you have less options than Cubase, for example. If you choose Insert Virtual Instrument on new track, you get right into Instrument folder. You'll find there all software instruments that you've installed. By double-clicking, choose what instruments you need from the list. You can choose Insert New Track, then click FX button on track. It'll show the so-called FX window. Then choose Instrument or VSTi folder, which is similar, and you'll see the same list of instruments. When you edit instrument and you have MIDI keyboard or other controller, you should check is there a sound going. If not, first check does your track armed for record? Red light round bottom. Second, is there a MIDI signal? You see this red line jumping. Third, check your sampler is there a sound bank loaded? Fourth, check monitor button. Finally, check if there your MIDI device on track and in MIDI preferences of Reaper. If sound goes, then you are able to change its volume level to get good result. This bottom switch on and off metronome. You can right-click on it to see its settings. You can choose when you want to listen to click sound. Turn playback or only during recording and also hear counting to get rhythm before start recording. You can manipulate click volume and frequency. You need to decide what tempo of your song. There is number shows BPM or beat per measure. You can set your metronome to play along with playback and check is this number of BPM suits you need. Or you can try to tape it with a mouse. If you are not a good player like me, but you want to record some complicated thing, I recommend slow down tempo, play it then back to previous tempo again. I made selection and turn loop mode. Record will start over and over from the beginning of selection to make multiply takes. You see them all when I stop recording. Now press Ctrl R to start record. Now I can play each takes to see which is better. Double clicking on our record opens piano roll or we can say note editor where we find notes, their properties and automation. My performance is not good. To edit it first we need to set grid depend on our performance and we can edit notes manually by moving and trimming. By pressing shift we can move it out of grid. Quantization helps automatically improve our performance. We can move only note position, note end, length or all together and regulate strength of quantizing. Change velocity is simple. Drag a note up and down with special cursor or change height of column on the note in controller window here. But you hear note is playing when I touch it. You can disable it in option menu. There are three useful settings here. I disable preview velocity changing, because it's really annoying. Another good feature is normally called legato, but here it's set note ends to start of next note. You can use input quantize, which quantize notes right with your performance. or put notes manually. 
it's possible to write notes with pencil cursor in piano roll. If you want to use controller instead of mouse, you can use also step record. This is also a very good feature for writing arpeggios. So I didn't cover lots of questions about recording and editing MIDI and I hope I will do it in the next submissions. Thank you very much for listening.